musicians. If you're not minting NFTs of your music, you're leaving money on the table. While the art world is currently undergoing a dramatic rebirth online, the music world has had its worst year ever. With 40,000 new songs showing up on Spotify every day trying to compete for fractions of a cent, and 90% of all live music venues planning to close for good in the next few months, it's possible that becoming a musician is the only life decision worse than becoming a YouTuber. What we morons in the music business are missing is that it's just as easy to mint a music NFT as an art NFT. Well, what's an NFT, you ask? NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's a type of cryptocurrency that represents ownership of a particular item. And this gives the token intrinsic value. The tokenized item, an artwork, a song, an album, it can be traded, bought, and sold in online marketplaces, the most popular one right now being Rarible. And rarity is where it gets really interesting. Everyone remembers Wu-Tang Clan selling only one copy of their album Once Upon a Time in Shaolin for $2 million. The reasons they cited for doing so are all the more relevant today. The music industry is in crisis. Check. The intrinsic value of music has been reduced to zero. Check. Contemporary art is worth millions by virtue of its exclusivity. Check. And now double check with art NFTs. Instead of casting their pearls before every online swine for free and hoping for the best like the rest of us idiot musicians, they did what crypto artists are doing. These brilliant visual artists are selling art that is provably exclusive by minting one-of-a-kind NFTs. One-of-ones command the highest prices, and because only one person can ever own the artwork, crypto art has proven it can be a profitable investment, and one that's thriving under COVID lockdowns. Purchasing an NFT gives the buyer ownership of the full, high-resolution version of the art, and often other benefits as well. And speaking of resolution, we musicians spend all this time and money to make a great mix. We pay to have it mastered. And with everyone listening to streaming services and YouTube, almost nobody buys CDs or will ever even hear the CD quality version, let alone your 24-bit audio file master. We have allowed the final and best form of our musical works themselves to become a waste product. That's how bad we are at this. But this is actually a silver lining because it makes your full quality digital master incredibly rare and therefore perfect for minting as a one of one NFT without disrupting any of your existing streaming or sales channels. Making the digital master available only via NFT lets you have your cake and eat it too. You can still put out the YouTube video, put your song on all the streaming services, knowing that you won't make anything from it, you might as well. And it's good advertising if you're selling the right product, an investment in your song. If you want to make some serious money, you really only need one fan or one investor who sees the tremendous value in being the only person to own the one single copy of the mastered song in its full quality. Suddenly, your song is a Picasso. And if you want to mint your music NFT on Rarible, Far be it for me to stop you. I would love to see music shopping on Rarible become a thing. But let's face it, it's not. We musicians are late to the game, and because we slept on it for too long, nobody's going to Rarible looking for music. Not only that, but the big rewards for people who got in the game early are now long gone. Starting now without a pre-existing audience might be a one-way ticket to grind mode, and grind mode plus Ethereum fees, not a good combo. But what if I told you that the Tesla of cryptocurrency is just about to allow you to mint better NFTs nearly for free. That means that getting in on the ground floor of this cryptocurrency, and more importantly, the NFT marketplace, is not only still possible, you don't even have to put in any money of your own. Would you listen to me then? Because we have to work together on this if it's going to work. The answer lies in a coin named, get this, Soul. It's incredibly easy to put the mastered file for one of your best songs up for sale as a one-of-one one NFT and ask your biggest fans to buy it, and they could just pay with a credit card if you have a website already set up, and you could just manually send it to them from your wallet, which is still better than nothing. But that's not going to create the kind of life-changing rewards that we deserve. The easiest and best way is to just ask your fans to pay for the NFT with Soul right there. You can list it for sale 
right in the same marketplace where you mint your NFT. And just by participating in this economy together, that $1,000 worth of soul or whatever it is that an early fan paid for the only full quality copy of your song can easily be worth much, much more to both of you, assuming both soul and your music NFT appreciate in value. Now, I'm a musician too, so of course, like most of you, I'm always having to do something else with my life. When the coronavirus hit, I was in startup school trying to find a way to do what Patreon does for musicians, except without the burning and churning your fan base due to their highly aggravating subscription-based business model part, which, in all fairness, they admit is flawed. I do give them more credit than Spotify, that's for sure. They're at least trying to get people paid. And it became clear that only something decentralized, community-owned would work, where fans invest in artists and support them because there is the possibility of making a profit, and that the initiative would have to emerge from within the music community itself. If we wait for the right rat trap to come along, we're just going to be trapped rats all over again. There may be other ways out there, but I honestly don't see any other opportunity like this for early Bitcoin adopter level profits that we can make from our music alone. This revolutionary opportunity is so dramatic that if even a small percentage of the music community does this, we could very well all end up millionaires. Let's start with the basics. There are NFTs, and then there are NFTs. The most advanced, cutting-edge, gaming-level performance NFT blockchain is the Phantasma blockchain, which just completed over 120 extensive upgrades, including swaps to Ethereum so your NFTs won't be stranded on some last-generation blockchain. The things this team is doing are beyond what anyone else is doing with non-fungible tokens, and very soon we'll be able to mint our own smart NFT tokens on this most advanced of blockchains easily and nearly for free. While these NFTs might not travel between blockchains immediately, it won't be long until like Soul itself, they will be swappable to Ethereum and will be able to be sold just about anywhere like Rarible or any marketplace that emerges in the future. But the whole point of this is to get in early and get fans involved in the project together with us. Are we really going to let visual artists get there first and dominate again? With Phantasma, you can even combine multiple NFTs into a single album NFT that users can split and sell as individual tracks if they want to. You can't do that on Rarible or anywhere else. This isn't some coin I've just picked at random, and I'm not being paid to make this video. There is literally no other option that fits all the criteria. It has the best NFT tech, a team that is second to none in terms of their brilliance and productivity, an economic or tokenomic model that ticks all the boxes, a marketplace that's just about to open up to NFT self-minting, and a valuation that is absurdly, laughably low in comparison to the coin's fundamentals. That means that even just a little bit of soul could end up making us all filthy rich. Right now, the price of soul is under seven cents, and yet the total supply of coins is less than that of Ethereum. And the most important criteria of all, the team of people involved are good people whom I would personally vouch for. Over the last few months, I've watched them deliver the impossible while remaining more transparent and more accessible than any other team out there. The soul community is a place where we can all belong to something bigger and better than ourselves. Of course, Soul would be the name of the coin that can bring music back to life after the devastation of 2020. Tons of gaming companies and visual artists are likely to make enormous profits from Soul and the Phantasma blockchain. And if musicians miss out again, it's on us. But the music industry will never tell you about this because, believe me, a decentralized blockchain-based movement that finally empowers musicians to make the money they deserve, one that's outside of their control, that's their biggest fear. That's why I'm asking you today to take the soul challenge. If we all do this together, the results will not be added together. They will be multiplied. This is not a scheme or a scam. We're establishing a long-term community marketplace that will grow exponentially, one in which we will all share ownership and governance, and one which we ourselves do not have to put any money into. Only the same soul that we put into our music every time we play. And that's what can make us millions from our music if we act collectively now, and those who do it soonest will reap the biggest rewards. Here are the three steps to the soul challenge. Step one, put your heart and soul, and I mean everything you got into a song, mix it, master it, do what you normally do, send it out to streaming services, YouTube, sell MP3s, but this time don't make a CD or in any other way distribute the full quality digital master, the WAV file. Let your fans know that only one copy of the full digital master will ever be available and that they can only purchase it if they've got the soul for it. 
You keep the rights to the master, of course, I mean, or your record company if you have a contract, and I'll make it a point to get an entertainment lawyer to come on and give us some boilerplate language that we can put in all of our listings. The buyer's paying more for the rarity, the exclusivity, and the hope that it will appreciate in value. But otherwise, it's just a normal music purchase from a legal standpoint. Make sure to let fans know about the Soul Challenge, and that fans who believe in the project should keep some soul for themselves to be able to buy more exclusive one-on-one -on -one music NFTs and be part of the movement. Step 2. Mint an NFT of your song, list it for sale on Ghost Market, send that link out to your fans, who by now should be waiting for it to drop. I'll make a walkthrough video of how to do this when NFT minting goes live, and it's coming very soon, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss this. Don't sell yourself short when setting the price. Remember how much of your soul you've put into your music. You can also set a royalty percentage, so if and when the NFT is ever resold, you'll receive that percentage of the sale price. When your NFT sells, and you get your soul, stake it in your wallet, and you get staking rewards every single day. Step three. This is the hardest, but most important step. If this is really going to pay off and make us all the millionaires we deserve to be, we're going to have to bring people with us and build a community. Step three is to find 10 fellow musicians and get them to take the soul challenge too. I don't mean tell them about it. I mean get them to do it. If we're going to be the owners this time, then we're going to have to take care of the marketing ourselves. Marketing is always the most important step, but Bitcoin didn't have a marketing department. It had early adopters like us. If we bring in fans and more musicians who bring in more fans who bring in more musicians, that's what we need. That's all we need for success. Give your musician friends a few cents worth of KCAL to mint their first NFT. Mint it for them. Offer to buy it, whatever you have to do, on the condition that they also complete the challenge, including this step, getting 10 more musicians involved. That's the crucial ingredient. That's where we need to put our time in and pay our dues. This is a battle for the soul of the music industry. We need soldiers spreading the gospel with kindness and love and urgent concern for the future of music itself. You'll find that once you've sold a one-of-one one NFT to someone or buy one yourself, something magical happens. That fan is transformed into an investor who has an enormous interest in helping the musician's career. Think how much that only copy of the master will be worth if your career really takes off. Does that happen with Patreon? Does that happen with Spotify? Do I even need to ask? If this video were a song, this part would be the bridge, where I tell you what's truly in my heart as plainly as I possibly can. This is the artist-driven transformation of ownership the music industry needs in so many ways. I'm not asking you to put any money in, just to sell your music and have your fans buy it in a new, exciting way in a marketplace on the next generation blockchain for NFTs, where we can be the first movers this time. Once we've established ourselves as a real market presence, and people know that you have to have soul if you're going to invest in and experience the finest audiophile ear candy. The rewards for the musicians who get involved, financial and otherwise, will be more than we can even imagine. New platforms, new opportunities, new technology will emerge around us in ways we can't even imagine. Share this video now, and please subscribe so that you can be the first to know when the challenge begins. I'll be taking the challenge myself, of course, but this isn't about me. This is about your music career, your life, and the short time you've got to be part of something like this, musicians and music fans coming together to help musicians and music fans. If there is one thing I learned in startup school, it's that ideas have no value by themselves. Implementation is everything. That's the attitude the Phantasma team has, and that's the attitude we have to have if we're going to save the music business. This isn't an idea I want you to like. This isn't something to talk about and forget or debate or lazily dream of alternatives that catch your fancy for a fleeting moment. If we don't actually do this and get 10 others to do it, then the idea is as worthless as uploading your music to Spotify. Stay connected, stay subscribed, and I'll keep you notified of every development. Send this to every musician you know, and, and don't say, hey, what do you think of this? Who cares what they think? You tell them I'm doing this, I want you to do it too. 
Every musician's head is full of reasons why nothing will work, and we're all happy to regurgitate them on command. You've got to get past that. Give them a reason to hope that what might seem like a small sale could grow into wealth and a process that sustains us. And I'd love to talk to musicians who are thinking of taking up the soul challenge on this channel as well. Thank you. Talk to you soon.